Let's go ahead and go through this question. What is the most appropriate next step in management? A 17-year-old boy with a known diagnosis of sickle cell disease is rushed to the emergency department with severe pain in his limbs and lower back. He has been out of his medications, including pain relievers, hydroxyurea. Vital signs show an elevated blood pressure, increased heart rate, and the patient appears very anxious. After administration of opioids for pain, the patient suddenly develops weakness in his right upper and lower extremities. Remember, this is a focal neurological deficit. A CT of the head is going to be unremarkable. So sickle cell plus focal neurological deficit, you're going to be thinking, about a stroke due to sickling of the red blood cells within the cerebral vasculature. And the next best step in management is going to be exchange transfusion. Remember for sickle cell stroke, the next best step is get the bad sickled RBCs out and put the good red blood cells in via exchange transfusion.